Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video here for Archery, my dear moment, my dearest moment. No, it's just my dear moments. God, I was got, I got the title wrong like several times last video too. We're here for Archery, my dear moments. So last episode we got introduced to Natsuki and Archery. Uh, we don't know anything about her other than that she is like a highly, 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 highly functioning robot that uh, Natsuki's grandma used to own. So not sure what's up with that, why she owned that. This world is super interesting as a whole with the whole uh, premise that it's like an entire ocean land um, as oceans have completely risen above most of the land on the earth um, and people are literally they're literally sitting like uh, ships and like rocket ships and whatnot up into space to find planets to live on um, as they talked about at the beginning of last episode but the world is super interesting characters are super interesting there's definitely something going, going on with Atri that we don't know behind the scenes there's definitely something there our main character Natsuki is missing his right leg so he, he wanted to sell Atri to get a better prosthetic and he actually ended up going through with it but she came back to him so we'll have to see why she did that this series has a very interesting premise and I'm very excited to see where it takes us throughout the rest of the season I believe it's 13 episodes so we're, we're gonna have this one for a good bit um, per usual feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord links are in the description below as far as the discord goes we talk about current anime past anime current manga past manga and have non-anime conversations as well and as far as the patreon goes you get exclusives and uncuts to all my reactions so feel free to check out either of those of your own will but now without further ado let's hop into atri, let's hop into atri my dear moments uh, episode two yeah what does that even mean exactly uh, Oh god. Is she literally carrying him? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I'm a high performance model after all, huh? Oh god. <laughs> well, she didn't jump anywhere near as far as she wanted to, clearly. Alright. Hey, what an interesting start to the episode. Okay, we got the OP. We didn't get this last week. Uh... Oh god. That cut was crazy there. I love this. I don't much to say. This is great. And song is great. Animation's great. And lots of characters too that we're clearly going to meet as we continue. Lots of characters. That's terrifying. Uh, what the hell? Uh, it's like such a wholesome opening except for that one little scene there with the guy like electricity coming out of his hands. Yeah. No, I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> What? What the hell? Uh, oh, she had debt collectors coming after her? Yeah, and she went to hide with Natsuki? Uh. <laughs> yes, yeah, so she took off. God damn, that is a crazy jump to hit. <laughs> yeah, cause she is in debt. Yeah, are we sure she's actually high performance? Oh my God, you're gonna burn his fucking shit down. Yeah. That's what he did last episode when she offered. <laughs> yeah. Just tossed a bunch of blankets over it. And... <laughs> You're so proud of yourself for stopping it when you started it in the first place. That's none of those were natural. None of those were natural human errors. Those were so dr drastic. <laughs> her flapping her arms around. Infinite lives wouldn't be enough with a piece of scrap like you around. That is crazy. Yep, out comes the whistle again. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm not discriminating robots, I'm talking to you. 
<laughs> Damn. She also still has her uh, wish or like uh, objective she has to fulfill from her grandma, which uh, we still don't know what that is because she forgot what it was. <laughs> At least you listen to her, so he's not gonna go and immediately sell her off. Uh, that's a fair point. Well, actually, that's not a fair point. I mean, realistically, well, I mean, yeah, I guess maybe she would have wrote it down or something. I don't. Well, that's a big, that's a big, uh, big if there. You have no idea if she actually did that or not. How are those still- how are those like not destroyed? This all just seems about like the ocean rising and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. It's not. My god. This girl is so goofy. Or this robot girl is so goofy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a light little smack. No. Oh, this is gonna be her excuse to drag him to school. He really doesn't seem to want to, to be honest. <laughs> like, he really doesn't seem to want to. <laughs> Probing her robot memory. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, she's a pretty weirdly useless is the wrong word, but weirdly what what is the word I'm looking for? Um useless is not the word. Uh but whatever. It's like it's like she makes things worse by being around. <laughs> she she makes simple tasks more difficult. Like there's a word, specific word I have in mind, but I can't think of it. And you can have a better prosthetic leg. Seemingly. Or to become your leg and you were able to do what you want to do. <laughs> okay, seems like he's not coming along to school. He really does not like school for whatever reason. Oh, she lives by herself. Oh. Evacuated to the mainland. I have to wonder if these people, like, up here were just lucky enough to already live at these high points. And so when the water rise, they were just fine because they just already lived at these highest points here where uh, the water didn't rise to. Uh. Where does that come out? Do you have like a bladder system? What? I'm actually, I don't think I want to know. I think I'm all right. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, she is a robot. And... Yep, makes sense. Uh... I keep talking about this. He said he, that he was going to save the world, huh? With how, with how like disheveled things look, it really makes me wonder how long the ocean has been risen for. Like we haven't gotten a good timestamp of when this all started. That that would be great to know. And also, they keep talking about this mainland as well. So they're off on like a side island, I guess. I wonder what the mainland looks like. Like how much is there left to call this area a mainland in the first place? <laughs> Oh, shit. Wow. That's rough. So that's why that's why he wants a new prosthetic leg. So maybe he can be one of the people to go research. Like a better one, more higher functioning. Due to the sea level rising, the launch of the rocket was indefinitely delayed. Weren't they talking about launching a rocket at the beginning of the last episode, though? But maybe that's not... 
uh, like weather research rocket. That was probably just like an evacuation. We're trying to find somewhere else to live rocket. Well, I mean, that's the base of it, sure. On what grounds? Yeah, I'm, I'm with Achi on this one. On what grounds do you come to that conclusion? He is, he literally sent her off to be sold last episode. Also, not sure where you're getting that information from. We'll find out about that. He has tried to sell her off several times already in this episode. Yeah. It's a fair point you don't understand, girl. Is he okay? Oh, is he having a nightmare? Yeah, I think he's having a nightmare. He's having that same nightmare that we've seen happen, that we saw happen last episode, where she was, uh, she woke him up from it as, a. Uh, it's like, it's like that thing uh, where his leg is trapped and then like she appeared in the dream and like woke him up. It's quite the talent as a human being. Your brain may need some repairs, master. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'd like to wipe off your sweat. Legs don't complain. Damn, brother just wanted a peaceful sleep. He probably, I wonder if he has that nightmare like daily. Brother, he, he just, <laughs> poor dude just wanted a good rest. Hmm. <laughs> he's, he's now regretting what he did the night before. <laughs> That's good. And when did she change outfits? Yeah. <laughs> what is going on right now? When did she change outfits? Since when? <laughs> I know she's high performance, but she one she was sleeping, and number two she was having a dream as a robot. What? <laughs> and seemingly a naughty dream. <laughs> I cannot deliberately erase any memory. Oh my god. Seriously, when did she ch when did she change outfits? Uh, <laughs> oh god, not a I you know what? I, I think I'm good. I don't really want a toothbrushing scene, I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm alright. I really I I really think I'm alright. Like I really I really Alright. <laughs> Okay, thank God they didn't go into detail about it. Mm. Yeah, Catherine <laughs> Why is she acting so smug now? You must have fallen in love with me because I'm so high. No, I. Oh, God. She took what, oh my god, she took what she said, like, about him liking her as a romantic like, I, which, I, at the moment, no, maybe down the line, I don't know. I still need to know where the hell did she get this outfit from? Nobody has given her a new outfit. Where did she get it from? <laughs> she just woke up wearing this new, like, dress. Yeah. This dude is about to lose his mind. <laughs> He's like choking around. <laughs> your joints, your robot joints. <laughs> yeah, we don't even know. We don't even know if Catherine's coming back. Like, we, we don't, like, I mean, obviously she is. She's not going to disappear as a character. But they don't know if she's even coming back. She, she's going to ask this every day, huh? 
それは分かっているんですが鉄に止めないぞここにいるとうるさくてかなわないじゃんで俺が行くんだよじゃあ私も行きませんそばにいなくてはいけませんから<笑>一度もない夏くんが来ればアトリちゃんも来てくれるってことでしょ夏くんが来ても意味ないのは分かってるよでもこの町唯一の学校だよ It's the only school in this town 終わりなんだよ続けたいって思うのはわがままなのかな Hmm Are they going? Are they coming along? Oh, okay インフラはボロボロ電気もガスも水道もまだしな Yeah, all the wind farms This is so interesting. The world of this place is awesome. Um, it would take, yeah, take whatever they can grab. Mm. That's fair. So people came and like ransacked the place and took whatever they could. Uh, and then, but at this point, most people have left this place. And so now you can just go and kind of freely get stuff. Because、uh, there's not people hustling to get it anymore. We were still connected to the mainland. Mm. Animation of this show is gorgeous. Minimo is rich, but is still in this town. She's staying here for Natsuki. Just didn't leave because they love it here. Well, yeah, that's also true. She also seems to just love this town in general and the people here. Maybe she wanted to save this town. Mmm. Someday it absolutely will. Yeah, and he wants to be one of the people on it. <laughs> Who knows? Guess I went the wrong way. What is she saying? Whoa. Oh. Whoa, that's interesting. What on earth? Why is the. It's like the school is like dug into the ground and so like it's been filled up with water there. That's interesting. Mmm. Starting tomorrow? Ow.、Uh, oh god. She's starting to get something. Yeah, there's something going on with her. Clearly, there's something going on with her. Alright, ED time. That was a really good episode. This world is super intriguing. <laughs> oh, she, they're all in the submarine. She's just walking casually down there. Great. OP and ED for the show are great.、Mm. Great episode. I, the world of this show is so intriguing. It's such a cool world. I love it. I do have so many questions, though. There's obviously something going on with Atri when the way she saw that school and got kind of like depressed there for a second. Clear, I mean, that was clear from the beginning of the show that there's a lot more to her than meets the eye.、Um, this show's gorgeous. The animation looks incredible.、Uh, I, I'm so interested to hear, find out more about this mainland and、um, what's going on like, with this ship, the rocket ship they're trying to send up to space. There's just so many good questions about this world, and I'm sure they're going to beautifully develop as we continue out throughout this season. Um, but this has, been a, this has been really fun so far. Very intriguing. Like I said, I love the world. The characters are very fun.、Um, and yeah, I, I, I wonder. Minamo says she goes to school every day. I don't think it's that school, the one that's like part halfway underwater. I'm going to assume there's a different school that they've set up somewhere else、uh, in another building somewhere around the area. I really do have to wonder because, like, all the shrubbery, the like. All, all, all of the nature that has gone and like invaded all the buildings, it has to have been a while since the water rose, but then that, that doesn't make any sense either. I don't know. I, I, cause like, 
nature like that doesn't build up in like just like 10 years it takes forever for nature to build up like that so uh i, I don't know we'll see maybe it's one of those things where i just have to sus suspend my disbelief in that that nature just grew there in a few years but maybe we'll find out uh, eventually kind of the backstory about how the water rose and stuff like that maybe through atri herself i don't know she probably lived the water rising and whatnot with uh with um natsuki's grandma so at the end of the day, we'll have to see how it all plays out. But I'm really enjoying the series so far. A lot of intriguing stuff going on. And it's been a lot of fun. But I think that is going to wrap it for my action to Atri, my dear, my dear moments, episode two. I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you all have a good day.